What is up, my little tubers? We're back for some more drafting here on DraftMancer.com. Got some more of this Team Vintage Cube draft. And this time, we do have Luis LSV in our pod. We did not open any power because we are extremely unlucky, but uh, as always, thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit... Don't forget to check out cardkingdom.com slash Numot for all of your magic card needs. So if we didn't open power, what are we looking at here? I think the strongest cards that you could go for in this pack are like Ponder, Force of Negation, Fetch. This is a Monarch card, yes, but it's not that good of a Monarch card in my experience although let me tell you any card with monarch or initiative on it is generally pretty good i think i'm just gonna take ponder i have a really hard time passing one mana blue cantrips um yeah so let's pick one pack one ponder and i guess go from there pretty lackluster overall well similar to ponder i do like a good sensei's divining top quite a bit i think that card is kind of nice especially if you're gonna go a combo route which I have not drafted much aggro in this cube yet. I've been drafting a lot of combo lately. Um, what other good choices are here? We have like a Thieving Skydiver. This is always going to find a hit in your opponent's deck. People are... I would, I would be very surprised if nobody... Or rather, if anybody is running zero artifacts in their pools. Um... Jetmere's Garden is okay. I don't really like the Naya colors in this. There's an Elvish Mystic if you wanted to take a Mana Doric. Courser for similar things. The Heary's okay. I'm just going to take the top. I've, I'm going to try to lean maybe towards like an Artifact deck, a blue Artifact deck. I haven't had one of those yet in this cube. And, um, well, I do like doing stuff like that. So let's take the, the top and see what happens. There's a portal now for the artifact strategy if we want to. It's kind of like a solo monarch in a sense. Rolling Earthquake has been very good for me in this cube as well. So unlike regular Earthquake, which does not hit flyers, this actually does. It hits everything that doesn't have horsemanship. And there are, I don't, as to my knowledge anyways, zero horsemanship creatures in the cube. There are a lot of green cards in this pack. There's a Hierarch, there's a Slime, there's a Green Duel, there's a Wood Elves, Garrick, Garrick, Terastodon, Primus. I might take Days here over Portal, though. I'm a big sucker for blue cards, and <laughs> a blue card I think I'm going to take. There's a Grizzlebrand here. That is a card worth taking as a speculation for any number of builds, whether you end up going like Reanimator or some kind of Sneak Attack. Uh, through the Breach, Show and Tell even. Grizzlebrand is one of the best top-end cards. The other card I like here is Talisman of Progress. That is a blue artifact, as well as the Xander's Lounge for blue, black, and red fixing. But I think Grizzlebrand is the easy choice here. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. There is also an Emrakul. So Emrakul and Grizzlebrand go into similar strategies. Man, this is a well, really strong fifth pick. Emrakul is great. Blue Red Talisman is great. Fury is absolutely busted. Pentad Prism in the pack. Tundra Ashiok. I mean, I didn't even note upon like Opposition Agent. This pack is just extremely stacked. So. I'm a little bit concerned if this is pick five, what people were deciding to choose from. Um, I kind of want to take the Emrakul and see if maybe we can do combo. Oh, I do want to say as... Well, let me make a choice here real quick. Uh, I'm going to take the Emrakul for the, for the high payoffs, but uh, as this is a 3v3, we're not going to see as many um, cards in the pool, right? Whereas with an eight-person pod... Um, there are 24 packs seen, right? With 3v3, that's only 18 packs seen. So, less likelihood of being able to do some good stuff. There's a nice amount of choices here. Fatal Push, Baleful Strix, Una's Prowler for Reanimate, Citadel for like Tinker. I think we're just going to go with the Strix here. It's going to go well in most strategies that uh, I'm leaning towards right now. It's an artifact, it's a good creature. There's a frantic search now. Let's take that because it does look like we're going either combo of Reanimator. I don't know. Is Reanimator a combo deck or like Emrakul nonsense? 
I think this is a pretty good start. There's Ulamog. That's another. Emrakul's better. Um, I don't believe they have Shallow Grave in this pod, or in this pool, but they do have, like, Makeshift Mannequin. There's also no Corpse Dance, if I recall correctly. So maybe, maybe the Ulamog's not necessary slash even good here. Survival could be cute. I mean, I could take Nahiri. Nahiri is a way to cheat these out, and that was a common strategy back in that plan. I don't like Scarab God. I've been really, really not impressed with it. A bunch of the green cards came back. Primus and Terastodon are super solid if we got, like, Sneak Attacker through the Breach, because those both sacrifice at end of turn. Especially with Primus with the Persist, but let's just go with the Portal now. I was thinking about taking that initially, remember? So still kind of leaning maybe into nice and artifact plan as we're wielding the Talisman of Dominance, or whatever pro pro progress. Ending's very good. Judgment and Winds of Abandon are both solid. That's a really nice pickup if we do end up playing Nahiri, right? This adds blue and white. That is now how many artifacts? Four artifacts. Top, Talisman, Strix, Portal. I do want to make sure I get enough ways to deal with pesky aggro decks. Another really solid pack here. Ashiok is just a kind of a stupid win con if we wanted to take it. Though I'm honestly a little bit tempted just to take Pentad Prism. This Teferi's fine. Haven't been impressed by it. Opposition agents always cute. Um, Ashiok has won too many games for me to pass. Let's go with Citadel here in case we get Tinker. That's pretty good. Lingering Souls. We could splash that. I think we'd rather take Lingering Souls here than Yogmoth or Entity. And some last pick. Well, actually, I was going to say Chaff, but Seething Song, if we get Breach or Sneak Attack, is pretty good. Alright, not a bad pack one. We do have a pretty decent start uh, with multiple routes. No power again for pack two. Again, just so unlucky. What do we have? Uh, quite a few good choices. There's a Counterspell, there's a Hymn. Tar Pit, Fractured Identity, Thought Seize, Ledger Shredder. So definitely good choices. Actually, you know what? Oath of Druids kind of looks good here. I'm, I'm, that's going to wheel, so I don't need to take it. But we could definitely go Oathing with this. That's crazy. I think I'm going to go with the Fractured Identity. I think this is probably just a little bit too strong. A lot of good cards we're passing here. Yikes. I know one of these times I'm going to pass a piece of power just because I don't recognize the art or something funny. Uh, there's a red-white talisman for Nahiri. There's a brazen for a good interaction. There's a path for good interaction. I'm not worried about the talisman. Probably going to end up wheeling that one. So Path or Brazen, I guess? I mean, if we're going combo, then the Impulse is definitely good, too. Like, if I wheel that Oath of Druids, is it actually good if I don't find a way to, like, tutor it? Not really. I guess I'm just going to take the Borrower here. I think that's where we're leaning. The, the Brazen is what it is. Eureka? Oh, there's Splinter Twin for all of those combo pieces we just passed. I'm pretty sure we passed both Deceiver, Exarch, and... Oh, sorry. Yeah, Deceiver, Exarch, and Pestermite.
There's Recurring Nightmare. That is such a weak... That is like the worst reanimate effect in my opinion. Well. Similarly, like it... It's like simultaneously the best and the worst. It's really good when you get to abuse it. It's really bad. Um, if you're just trying to one-shot it. God, I kind of want to take the Splinter Twin here and see if we can wield the, the combo pieces. Otherwise, I just take the Inquisition. I'm going to take the Twin, though. High upside. There's Kiki Jiki, too. Oh, there's an Echo. Okay, well, you know what? I If we wheel the combo pieces, then we'll have a good deck. So... I guess I'm probably supposed to take both the twin and the Kiki and see if we can get the uh, get the Deceiver Pestermite on the wheel. Let's take Bobble now over Sunbaked Canyon, I think. Uh, Sunbaked Canyon's actually really close. Never mind. We might be going Jeskai over Blue Black or whatever at this point. Balance is pretty good here. So is Spire Bluff Canal. Wow, I think Balance is actually really, really solid. I'm passing an Imperial, but Balance, I think, is just too strong. Okay, there's the Exarch. All right, lock it up. That gives me a lot of hope that we're going to wheel the other piece, too, but let's just take Talisman here over Impulse. Over Chandra. Mm, that's interesting. No, I'm taking the talisman. It's good fix. It's perfect fixing even, and I have balance now. Yeah. All right, this is looking to be a good deck. I need to get some more counter magic though. I I, I passed the counter spell. I passed force of negation. I don't think I passed any others, but Titan versus Sahili. Titan's just a good one to, like, Seething Song into or ramp into. Okay. Helix versus, like, Echo. Um, I mean, we are combo, so a draw seven is not terrible, but that is my least preferred draw seven. But I think it's probably good. Just The nice thing is I actually have a multiple ways already to discard a card. Right? We have both the Nahiri and the Frantic. And even the Balance in a pinch. And so if one of my combo pieces goes away, I can refuel potentially. Though not getting the Pestermite back um, is a little bit awkward if I only have the Deceiver Exarch, you know? Mimic is kind of filler. I like the bobble here. We still have a kind of an artifact sub-theme going on. Eh, not really. But if I picked up Tinker, I would probably run the, uh, <laughs> the Citadel. Elish Norn. We could sideboard that in. Oh, you know what? Somebody took my oath. I didn't even mention it or notice it. Double white on absence, awkward, but it's a lot better here than Merc Tide for us. Impulse was nice, and there's Eureka. All right, pack three, give me some power. Ideally, starting off with a non-time twister piece of power. Yes, yes, yes! Oh, no, no, no! Why Sol Ring and Lotus in the same pack? Oh my god, that's brutal. That's so disgusting. Oh, and I'm feeding LSV? <laughs> Come on, man. All right, well, I probably just take Sol Ring here. We're losing Lotus, obviously. Sea Chrome, Sparas, Expressive's great. Felidar Guardian would be okay. 
Oh, that's so sick. Dude, why? Funny, I asked for power, and I'm taking the non-piece of power. Well, you gotta do what you gotta do. Man, that Urza Saga actually looks really good in our deck now. I mean, we already had Top and Bobble, but now we have Soul Ring. There's a Colonnade here. I think I'm taking the Negate. I was talking about Counter Magic, and I don't think I'm going to pass this. I think the Negate's just a little bit too strong. Mana Drain! Okay! Oh, shoot. Felidar Guardian's probably going to wheel, and there's a Sahili here, too. Plus Swords? Holy crap. I mean, I have to take Mana Drain. Dude, this is nasty. This is so nasty. So both my talismans are white. One adds blue, one adds red. Oh, this pack three is nuts. Absolutely bonkers. Good old lightning bolt. Condemn is okay. There's academy. Uh, black white talisman, green black talisman. No, can't really go wrong with just classic bolt, right? Passing rift wing, passing academy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's so gross. Steam vents, I am not passing that one. I want spell pierce, but that's just way too good. There was a reprieve in there as well. I've kind of neglected taking the land fixing, though I do have other fixing that's decent, so. Jeez Louise. I mean, if I get sneak attack or through the breach, I think we still end up running like Emrakul or something. Wow, another insane pack. Oh, Zealous, Miscalc, Arid Mesa, Mana Tithe. The Mesa is so good since we just picked up that Steam Vents and we have top, but can I realistically pass Conscripts here? Because right now I just have Deceiver Exarch and there's no guarantee I get the Felidar back. Felidar doesn't work with Splinter Twin, it does work with Kiki though. God, I want the miscalc and the fetch, but I'm gonna I'm gonna take the combo piece and play safe. So here's another interesting choice because if I take Felidar Guardian and we get Sahili, we're in a fantastic spot. But do I want to just make the core that I have better by taking expressive iteration instead? Probably. Or just take the Sea Chrome Coast. Iteration's so good too. Alright, take the Colonnade over the click and be sad but also happy. There's Sahili. I should probably take Otawara here. But there's a chance I actually get the Felidar back. Okay, can I run this academy? Is it crazy? I'm going to take it, because I don't think we need any of the other playables. Basalt is also kind of tempting. Mana Tithe is really tempting. Eladar should be coming back soon if it does wheel. I probably won't even need to run the Echo then, and if that's the scenario. <laughs> I 
Ah, damn it. And the Sea Chrome Coast, too. But now we have infinite combo. We have Zealous, Kiki, Splinter Twin, Felidar, Sahili, Deceiver. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The Academy is close. Man, what a crazy draft. All right, I'm going to ex export this over to Magic Online and we're going to go build our deck. Stay tuned. Okay, here is the deck building of that crazy team draft we had. I think the Academy is probably going to get the cut here, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's like borderline. I do have Frantic Search to untap and Deceiver Exarch technically, and I guess Conscripts though. But I need to make a couple of cuts here, so... I'm thinking of cutting the bobble. I don't know if I actually need Nahiri. But it can go find a creature combo piece if we do get up to 8. Um, we could cut Titan, certainly, and just go full-on combo, bring it in as necessary. I could see that. I guess I'm running 16 lands, so I need to make two cuts here. I think I like the Seething Song. I mean, I don't think I can cut any of these combo pieces, right? I guess the thing is, is that uh, Zealous and Deceiver both work with Twin, whereas Felidar does not, but Kiki does work with all three of these. Yeah, and then I have Sahili. That's, yeah, no, nah, nah, we're going to leave all of those in for sure. Um, two cuts, two cuts. I think we keep Frantic in for combos. Digging, rather. I guess I could see cutting Impulse. I could cut Bolt. Actually, same reason to cut Bolt as I cut the Titan, just... Obviously, it's a very good card, but uh, maybe I just go full on with my game plan, right? I still have a small feeling I want to be running Echo of Aeons here. I wonder, can I cut Bobble and still run Teleron Academy? One, two, three, four, five, six. This Sahili doesn't make artifacts. I guess it's not crazy to cut this bobble. Ah, the academy is so close. It'd be a slam dunk if I had 10 artifacts. With six, it's a little sketch. Hmm. Do I have enough card draw? Let's see. Card draw and card selection. Top, Ponder, Impulse, Expressive, Sahili Scries, Frantic, Nahiri, Portal. I mean, yeah, we actually have quite a bit of good digging. I wonder if my deck would be better if I cut Felidar Sahili. Just a really minor splash of white. But I think I like this. And I'm going to try to YOLO the Telerian Academy. Because the Bobble's an artifact that's not sticking around on the battlefield generally too long anyways, right?
Ah, Soul Ring the better card, but man, Black Lotus for the more busted openers. <laughs> All right. Worst thing is we had to pass that Lotus to Luis. The feel bads. Do I need to add any other mana source? I guess we could add some... Well, no, we don't need to add any forests or swamps to our sideboard. Is this too many white sources is the question? Two, three, four? And then both of these? So probably only one plane is necessary. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we should probably run one more mountain. Seven, and then we have six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I mean, we don't even need that much blue, but. I don't know, seems pretty good to me. Very, very cohesive. Right. I think that looks pretty good. I'm still I'm still questioning the echo, but I don't think I have anything I'd want to cut for it, you know. So let's ship it like this and we'll see you in round one of this three v three cube draft. All right, here we are for round one of this Team Vintage Cube Draft uh, versus CEL. I mean, I don't think we can keep that hand, huh? It's got both of the important pieces, but... Hmm. Actually, the more I look at it, the more I'm thinking all I need to do is find a blue source. The more I am tempted, but I'm not that greedy. Let's go down to six. And that is a fine looking sixer. Let's pitch the song or the monolith there. Let's pitch the seething song. We're on the draw with a ponder and a top, so should be okay to find my second land, I would guess. Good. So we're going to lead with top, and then next turn we can go Talisman plus spin the top. And if we don't like it, we can shuffle with Ponder afterwards. Prismatic Vista for our opponent here. And they got the miscalc that I wanted so badly. Unfortunate, because that was my white source for Nahiri, potentially next turn. Fortel and an island. Okay. Um, I'll go ahead and spin here on upkeep. Academy. Okay. Hmm. I think I'll just pass with negate open. And spin the top at end of turn. I'm pretty sure this can only be Alren's Epiphany, so... Good to note. Garrick Relentless. Yeah, we'll counter that. And then we'll draw. 
impulse. It's another way to get underneath that. Um, another, way for, another way for us to get underneath that uh, top. So cards I have to be a little bit afraid of. Things like opposition with a bunch of creatures, upheaval, um, Chan. No, my, my teammate has channel. Oh, I should have mentioned. My teammates are on red-black, um, kind of almost like Rakdos scam looking deck, and then a really strange green-white combo deck of sorts. Uh, it looks like a white weenie deck. But it also has Channel, two, both Ulamogs, Devoted Druid, and Vizier of Remedies for that little combo. So it's a strange one. And he's also splashing for Ancestral for what it's worth there. Oh boy, okay. Well, fair is fair, I guess. I have Soul Ring, you have Mox, and that is Mr. Jace the Mind Sculptor. They're not going to Fate Seal me, so this is presumably a Brainstorm. Um, problem here is that Epiphany with Jace is kind of gross. I think I'm just going to naturally draw for turn here, maybe. Oh, shoot. I don't actually remember what was underneath my... I should know the last card that's underneath the top, but I don't actually recall now. A portal. Cross of portal. No. Maybe I don't want to draw that. It is extra mana, though, and they don't have any pressure right now, but... I think I'm okay spinning and putting the portal down. Oh, okay, well, that's not great. I think we keep the mountain, though. And let's go... Impulsing here. Found Deceiver Exarch isn't bad. Now we can spin with top. Oh! I did not mean to draw with top. Whoopsies. I meant to spin. Oh, that's pretty awkward. That is pretty awkward indeed. Okay, well. <laughs> Dang it. I guess what I can do here is untap the monolith now. Play this and then... Go for, like, upkeep, tap down the Utopia Sprawled Forest. Otherwise, they'd be able to Epiphany here. Obviously, they can just bounce the Deceiver Exarch with Jace if they want to, but that is a pretty weak use of Jace, right? Ooh, they could have Fate Sealed me, too. Oh, you know what? I didn't even think about that. I put the Splinter Twin on top. They could have Fate Sealed me. <laughs> that damn misclick top. 
Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, so, again, I meant to look at the top three instead of drawing last turn, and... Things got a little bit out of control after that. I mean, we still might have the win next turn, it's just pretty awkward, the, the roundabout way that worked. Len Alendra, hey, that's pretty good. That will turn off any Splinter Twin nonsense. Brazen is a nice draw. Potentially, so is the Sunbaked Canyon. All right. Well, we are behind now. Uh oh, and they are tapping very quickly. I wonder if I should have just let the Garrick resolve. It doesn't seem like it was correct, though. Yep, there's the Epiphany, as expected. Okay. So now they get to take their extra turn. Could still get them here, right? If they just leave up one blue source, which doesn't seem very likely given how much mana they have, but if they just leave up one blue source, we get to do the uh, brazen the Glenelendra at end of turn. I wonder if on that one turn up, I just slam down the course of portal if we just like easily win. All right. Talisman, Talisman, Forest Tracker, Progenitus. So I'm guessing they have a natural order or something. They have gone through many more cards in their deck than I have. So if they go tracker land... Talisman and just hold up the one blue. We might be able to get them here. Tracker, land, talisman, right? Tracker, land, talisman. Oh, they played land first. Oh, maybe they are just going to hold up double blue. Yeah, okay.
So bouncing doesn't work since they're going to have... Multiple manas. There's no way I can instant speed it, right? No. So let's draw the canyon. Force of Vigor. Okay. Float, look, what did they exile? Elf, land and brazen, gosh, another land. Well, I guess we might as well draw the brazen then, huh? For now, now the Talarian Academy is turned off. Actually, you know what? Maybe I should have rearranged. Maybe I should have drawn land here. I could have shuffled around, and if I draw land, I would have been able to go brazen plus twin. I guess we know there's a land underneath, so I can... Let's see, I can play the top. I mean, we'll see if I'm dead here or not, but... Play at the top, add one with Academy, draw. Two, four, six. Yeah, we might still be able to pull this out. That doesn't do it. Talisman. I mean, they still have one more clue token, so the fact that they didn't pop that clue token is pretty concerning. But what else do I have? I just have to go for it. They got me, they got me. Oh, Tawara, that'll do. That'll do just fine. All right. So I don't know if that accidental tapping of the top mattered in the end. It was certainly unfortunate, though. Let's bring in the bolt. Doesn't look like Daze is going to be great versus all of their fast mana stuff. Inferno Titan actually seems pretty good, too. Man, I wonder if just resolving that portal that one turn... I'm pretty sure I had a chance to resolve portal anyways. If that would have really been the thing that we needed. I guess the brazen was just okay. I think I'd like just bringing in the titan instead. Go on to the next game. All right, on to game number two we go. We're down a game. We'll be on the play here. 
Is this a keepable hand with impulse? Seems pretty bad. Yeah, actually, I guess it's fine. I mean, I can't cast the Guardian right now, but we have two of our combo pieces, and the opponent had some amount of interaction, but maybe not the most. Turn one birds, or turn two birds, rather. Let's go ahead and impulse end of turn. And I gra guess we're grabbing iteration here. Iteration over top. It's probably right. Wow. And... Um, bomb. That is pretty freaking bad. Sheesh. And there's Jace. Okay. Well, good news is I can Seething Song cons Seething Songs kill the Jace. Ooh. And I can sack their waterlog grove too, actually. Okay, no, 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 this is not bad. As long as they don't have a free counter. Oh, or we could just tighten Jace. That seems better. Conscripts was really tempting, though. Kill Jace and kill, kill a land. So we saw Otawara. But I'm guessing a turn four Titan's pretty darn good here. And there's their Mox again. Hopefully they just cast that, uh, what's it called, Escape to the Wilds. Bribery. I don't actually think I have that many good things to hit here. Yeah, I don't. Okay, and you know what? Funny thing is, if they take my Kiki-Jiki, I steal it with conscripts and win. I don't think I showed them conscripts last game. Like, I don't really have that much. And they saw Twin as a win con, but not... Or a Deceiver Exarch, but not Conscripts. So, we'll see. This will be pretty funny if it works out. Looks like my teammates are both 0-1, though, unfortunately. And they scooped! They just scooped! Okay, we'll take it. I don't think they knew I had conscripts in my hand or whatever. I guess they just figured I had nothing left. Um...
Knowing they have bribery, I almost want to cut the Inferno Titan. I still want the days too, but on the draw it's so weak, especially when they have birds and sprawls and sapphires and stuff, you know. I guess we'll just leave in the Inferno Titan, and if they have bribery for exactly Titan, then so be it. Good beats, but let's go to game three, first round. I think you keep these hands. They're very awkward, obviously, but I'm on the draw with the Ponder with fast mana and my white fixing, so. Look, I have Soul Ring in this deck. We haven't drawn it once. They've drawn Mox both games. It's only fair if we rip the Soul Ring off the top for turn one Soul Ring Talisman Ponder, please. I mean, that's not bad when I have the, uh... Ooh. We want the Bolt, but we don't want the two lands. So, I guess I'm shuffling here. Ah, this is brutal. Man, what a start. I mean, only two cards left, but even just one payoff card is going to be so bad for us. Jeez Louise. Natural order. All right, there's Progenitus. Two turn clock, okay. Hey! Yo! Um... I need to cast one of them this turn, right? Okay. Can we fade one time? Just tap out for Garrick or something? I'm going for it. We got to play around the miscalc. Can we get there? <laughs> Can we get the cat combo? Can the cat lady steal a game? One time? Uh... 
Oh, they have Otawara? Oh, come on. Wait, they have to bounce cat. What are they talking about? Wait, didn't they just mess up? I'm so confused. Oh, I think they done goofed. I think they totally bricked. Okay, well, if they're going to make me click this out. <laughs> oh my gosh, I think we just stole a match there. But we'll freaking take it, so. GG's, we got the first round, we got very, very lucky. Wow. Okay, on to round two of this Team Vintage Cube draft after that crazy, crazy first round. Uh, we're on the draw with the mulligan, and there's our soul ring! We did it. I think this is a pitch of Kiki, right? This is a really awkward Sol Ring hand as... I want to play Colonnade turn 1 so I can hold up Mana Drain turn 2. Oh no. Uh, double Mox opener? Okay, with a turn one Oko. I mean, the good news is my infinite combo. Can beat Oko, but are you kidding? I need to draw Cat. That's our only out. But we are on a very fast clock, so... <sighs> I guess I just discard Portal here. Well, <sighs> turn one Mox Mox Oko is a hell of a thing, eh? So I discard land, drain, and draw Felidar, I guess. That technically is a rebuy. Let's see, five. Top. Um, I need to just rip the top card though, right? Because I only have six or six mana, so. Felidar. 
Go down to, yeah, so I need to just rip the fellator off the top. Okay, well, turn one, Mox Mox Oko. That was rather fun. Let's not do that again. We even had our turn one soul ring finally. I think we just run it back. Go to game two. All right, game two here, second round. That's a keepable hand. Brazen is super good with balance. It keeps them with a bunch of cards in their hand, and it's minus a card that doesn't exist in my hand or as a creature on the battlefield, you know? Hoping to draw any of our fast mana here. No turn one Mox Mox Oko? The dream. Turn to explore. Okay, this is a much more fair game, thank God. Yeah, if they have spell pierce, good beats. <laughs> oh man, those draws. What can you do? Right, let's just slam down the portal. I mean, lots of black, huh? Okay, hey, no, no, we're in a good spot now. Homage, get an extra card, self monarch. Let's go top in. Canyon pass. Mystic Confluence, draw three cards. All right, let's look at the top three in response. Yikes, those are bad. Arbor Elf's fine. Do we want to draw the frantic end of turn and cast it? And then just discard two lands? I think that's probably alright. Don't think we're going to brazen the elf though. Beladar Kiki. Okay. We won't be able to cast both of them next turn. Four, five, six, seven, eight will be one mana short. That's with the land play from my hand. That's fine. Oh man, with Prowler Balance, I can actually make them discard the entirety of their hand. Kind of funny. Actually, do we want to do that? What's the likelihood they have another counter, I guess? I mean, this is not a bad balance by itself right now. But I guess we'll just draw. Look at the top. Nahiri. Uh, 
All right, probably worth drawing the Hiri for the turn. Say go. Swift and the Nahiri. Okay, that's fine. Oh, shoot. You know what? I don't have enough red here. I messed up. I mean, that one turn I accidentally clicked on my land. Shoot. Because I'm drawing the... Oh, they hit grief. I'm drawing the... Uh... What do you call it? Next turn. Talarian Academy. And that gives me two mana, but that doesn't get... Like, my red and white are currently overlapped. Hmm. Very awkward. Right, they're going to get rid of Exhum. Okay, and they are going to grief me here. It took the balance after all that. So they must have more good interaction. Which is fine. I don't mind taking some beats. Recurring Nightmare with Grief. Hey, that's pretty good. Okay, I dig it. So they have to take one of the combo pieces here though, right? It's too risky to leave them otherwise. Yeah, so there goes Felidar. Which is awkward because now if I uh, Deceiver Exarcho or whatever, then we get them again? Hmm. Fractured Identity. This exiles too, doesn't it? Perfect. Okay, that will work. Fractured, fractured Identity, the Grief. And then... Take their recurring nightmare, I guess. Bone shards and a pile on. Okay, they also have pile on. And I slog through the removal, though. Because they don't have anything in their graveyard right now, but they do have a Prowler, which can discard stuff. I guess I just go for the strongest card and take the recurring. Even with their removal spells. Pile on bone shards. Alright, shrink the grief, that's fine. Uh, 
There's the rider, sure. All right, no. We could bounce the Prowler end of turn. Keep the Lily low. They would still be able to cast their um, pile on, though, with Convoke. Expressive, Ponder, and a land. Those are pretty good. Let's draw the Expressive. And bottom top. I know I need that red source, but we don't have a combo piece right now, so this is okay. And I don't want to fire off the ponder until after we top, after drawing with the portal next turn, I think. Yep, that's fine. Bone shards, pile on, one unknown. Those are all pretty weak. I guess I'm going to bottom the colonnade, draw the talisman in the ceiling song. <sighs> Pop. All right, let's get through those. Shuffle away with ponder. Respin. Negate's good. We can have that on lockdown. Three, four, five, six, seven. I guess there's no rush. We can wait one more turn, because they're not even attacking me. Kiki Jiki with Grief is also pretty damn spicy. Ledger Shredder, that's fine. They might actually kill the Grief now because they have Shredder. Talisman. Okay. So shred or shards and whatever that uh, shards and pile are the last two cards in their hand. I think we just take this hit now, right? Now we can go petty theft, the shredder. Brazen. Draw. Draw the negate. Spin top. Wow. Really, really weak. Draw the impulse. Impulse. Okay, there's conscripts. How much mana do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Might have messed up by not playing the or floating the mana from the academy, right? Oh no no no! I can daze because they they have pile on, but only four mana, so this works.
Perfect. I think I'm going to show them the gate and not the days. All right. So they crush me with Mox Mox turn one Oko. We win a drawn out game two. Let's see if we can get a game three. Here we go. All right, game three, we've got a nice looking balance hand. Let's hope they don't have uber mox ramp start and maybe I draw my soul ring. Oh, yes, it is. Now who has the nuts, my friend? Now who is it that has the nuts? It is me. We're just going to shuffle that away. Ledger Shredder, huh? So, if I balance here, they have to sack a land and their creature. I could Frantic first. That doesn't seem the worst. I assume getting a Planeswalker online is better. That or the Portal. Okay. They do have a Murderous Rider in their deck, right? So Nahiri could insta-die. Yeah, well, if you have it, you have it, I guess. Alright, I'm going to let them loot off of the Shredder, but we get to wreck them with balance in trade. All right, sack a land, sack your creature, discard four cards. Seems good, man. Seems freaking good. I even drew Drain, huh? So we're just going to hold open Drain. We're going to untap Monolith here. If this is not something super relevant. Seiju the portal. Oh, I can't counter that, so... Doesn't matter. We'll leave top on top. It's a great hit because if we see something bad on top, we can Saheli it then to the bottom, you know? Deceiver, Exarch, Negate. Um, so let's put the Canyon on the bottom, I guess. And then put the negate on the top. Oh, I guess I should have looked one deeper after putting the canyon on the bottom because I might have hit Felidar underneath it. All right, baby, let's go. Freaking got him 2-0 now. Nice.
All right, here we are for the third and final round. We are playing against the LSV. We put past him the Lotus. We're going to keep this hand because if we find a white source, we are good to go, I guess. And that is a good start into finding a white source. Very nice. All right, let's draw. Let's go land, talisman, balance. Because we don't want the talisman in our hand. Although, if they have a discard effect, that's not going to matter anyways. Yeah, if they have a discard effect, it's not going to matter anyways. I'm guessing Sahili's the pitch here. As I don't have the white sources yet, but... Yep, Sahili gone. Remember, Felidar still works with Kiki Jiki. Reverse Talisman. I don't think I'm going to bounce the Talisman here. Not yet, anyways. Lamp's a little bit annoying. Not attacking with the tar pit, so clearly has something. Okay, well there's that. I still need another red source before that does anything though. So I don't even think it's worth running out the cat quite yet. Unless I want to wait for, what, 8 mana to do that? Let's see what LSV is playing. Okay, 3 cards in hand. He's got Duress, Force of Will, Venser. Oh, he actually has a lot of counters, so... This could very easily be Venser or Hardcast Force that's being held up. But I'm going to bounce the Talisman and then uh, play out the Brazen. Put a little pressure on the board here. That is a janky looking skull clamp, by the way. All right, there's the Venser as anticipated. Bouncing the monolith, yeah. Grabbing Xander's Lounge with Mesa. There's the Talisman again. Four mana open, probably gonna clamp up. Oh, no, here we go, four mana. Skydiver, my talisman of progress. That is kind of unfortunate. All right, white source down. Easy attack for us, as he has the skull clamp. Oh, okay. That's fine by me. I wonder if he has the force in hand. So activate tar pit and clamp is six damage, three turn clock it would be. But no, still not playing out, or still not activating tar pit here. Okay, white source, white source, and I think we win it, right? That should do her, my friends. I mean, one card in hand could be anything, of course.
Yeah, baby, let's go. Got the first round again, or first game again. All right. Can we go for the perfect 3-0? Can we be the hero of the people? This spell can't be countered. What is the wording on Venser, though? Venser might just say return a spell to its owner's hand or whatever. I mean, I don't even think we want to bring that in anyways. Bolt seemed medium. Titan seemed medium. God, I almost want to bring in the tithe as just a getcha moment and cut the balance in this matchup. I think I'm going to do that. Go to game two. Okay, here we are for game two versus LSV, and our opening hand is insane. If they don't have Thought Seize turn one, oh my god, this is going to be disgusting, right? Just the absolute nuts. Talisman, pass. Is this a turn three win? White, blank, one. No, I'm missing one mana, one colored source of winning here, right? Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we're one short of winning this turn. Kind of insane. Um, I guess I'm just gonna go Nahiri here then. Discard Steam Vents. Four mana pass. Hmm. I'm going to really regret discarding that other blue source. Okay, mana tithe in hand. Wait, Kiki Jiki in hand? No, mana tithe in hand. Bottom, top. I think I'm not going to discard and just pass. Now that Nahiri's on 8, we can threaten uh, nonsense. And if he has Venser, we get him so good. Well, that's annoying. <laughs> My hand's insane. <sighs> All right, Felidar Guardian is gone. Tar pit attack? Yeah, that makes sense. Wow. Well, I guess that's really good to see four lands gone. That's probably a pretty good draw, too. Uh... You know what we're going to do here? We're going to discard the mana tithe that he knows about, but then hold up days instead. Oh, does that win? No, it doesn't win. It's good, but it doesn't win. Jeez, that's all garbage too. Uh, I guess I'm going to go land, canyon, island. Do 
Do I want to go zealous here? No, let's go Sahili and bottom. I guess I could make a copy of top and draw an extra card, but that doesn't seem very good either. I think I'm alright if he just wants to activate and kill either Nahiri or Lotus. Or sorry, Nahiri or Sahili. Turok! Oh man, that's kind of nuts. Okay, so let's draw a mountain in response. Let's see. Yeah, no, I don't need to float. Let's just draw the mountain. I don't need to reshuffle. So he's going to hit two of these now. Hit the days in the mountain. Actually perfect. We kept our best cards. And now both Planeswalkers also survive here. Okay, Nahiri's going to take three. Let's see. Let's bottom the land we know is on top, right? Actually, make a token. If I zealous steal, zealous steal, that's 3, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 damage. That's a lot of damage. But we can dig super deep here. Land on bottom. Top. Draw the monolith. Discard the monolith. Oh, pumps the Turok. <laughs> top. Spin the top. Yikes! Oh no! We just have pure garbage here. Holy moly. He just gets to kill both my planeswalkers and then I'm stuck under a terrible land land seething song. Wow. That is really freaking bad. Our opener was insane, but I guess maybe I must have messed up this game somehow? I don't know. We hit a lot of junk, and there was nothing I could do about it there. Deceiver Exarch doesn't do anything. Holy smokes. How does one brick this hard? Actually impressive. Uh, he took my Urza Saga. Tar Pit activation incoming. Yeah. 3, 6, 11, 12, 13, yeah. I mean, I guess I'd rather draw the land than the Deceiver Exarch, technically. Right? Does Deceiver Exarch buy me a turn? Tap down, block. Oh yeah, technically it would, but... Okay. 
Okay. Uh, draw. Frantic search. Okay, it's not bad. Tap. Draw frantic. Discard land. I actually just think I discard the Deceiver Exarch. Because I'm going to need the Seething Song to go off this turn anyways. Up. Spin. We need to find Splinter Twin. Okay, so we need to draw the Ponder now. Draw Ponder. Portal. I think we have Spun and the Lost. Man, so many looks. How much damage is this? Five, steal it is ten. Ugh. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we had perfect mana there to Zealous and... Oh, no, no, we had even more than perfect. If Zealous resolves, I untap Academy, and then I can twin plus hold open Negate. Sheesh. Ah, okay. Maybe I... No, I don't think Volt is... I mean, it's, it's good versus the... A bit of stuff. But I think we just run it back. Let's go to game three. Let's get them. All right, game three versus LSV will be on the play here. You don't mulligan this kind of hand, but it's not our turn one soul ring. Turn one tal or turn two talisman rather. It's not shabby, I guess. That's pretty good, too. We do be ramping, though. Man, I wish I'd brought in the Echo with this kind of draw. Yep, there's that Lotus I passed him. All right. Well, if this is a Grave Titan, it's actually not so bad because we have Fracture. Turok. I mean, I guess I just let this resolve, right? Fracture and Brazen. Yikes. Could have drawn with the Sunbaked Canyon, I suppose. Holy crap. Four lands seen. Well, it ain't looking great for us. God, I wish I'd brought in that Echo. It's got protection from white too, so I can't even block with Colonnade if I wanted to. Oh, that's not bad. Well, it's not good. Actually, I don't even know if I can keep that. God, Mana Drain Felidar would have been insane, but yeah, and I think this is actually a shuffle. I mean... Ah, we'll probably keep it.
I don't think I counter Vincer here if he goes for Vincer. I'm just gonna get three turn clocked by Turok. <laughs> Alright, so he's draw Deceiver Exarch next. Pro white means I can still tap it down. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess I go for the uh it's the Helian scry now. Bottom that. I mean, I have Drain and Talisman open for what that's worth. So if this attacks Sahili, I do chump. That goes face. I probably just take it. Okay, so he's going to bounce the Healy, maybe? Sure. Frantic search. How do I not lose here? And do I need to go for it this turn, maybe? Alright, let's go for something. Uh-oh, I can't mana drain after this. Well, that didn't do it anyways, did it? So rock was already big, that didn't matter. It was already lethal by itself. Yikes. Days in hand, island on bottom, soul ring for casting. Oh, I'm just dead if I don't uh, run out my conscripts now, too. Shoot. Oh, boo howdy. Boo freaking howdy. It doesn't do anything to untap a land here, right? Or Soul Ring even. Just steal Turok and hit him for some damages. I think that's my play. I 
Alright. Absolutely dazing the Venser here. Force pitching Sahili. Okay, so I have to drain the Venser now. And he had Force of Will left over too? He had all the counters! It just didn't matter. Alright, GG's, that'll do it then. Crazy, crazy game. Man, we had some brutal, brutal freaking draws. I mean, we had some really good draws, but ah. Feels like I definitely had a chance to win there. So we pulled off a 2 and one which in, is in teams, is still great. But unfortunate that we had to lose to LSV there. We'll get him next time. And uh, yeah, that'll do it. So that's it for me. That was a long video, but I pulled off a 2 and one I'll see in the comments how my team does, or I'll be able to spectate some games. So we'll be right back. All right, looks like my team was able to pull it off there. And uh, yeah, we'll take the win. GG's, good job team.